Oh, hello, grasshoppers. Welcome to the show today. My name is RJ Redden. Entrepreneurs hire me to rocket launch their marketing message because most are shouting into a black hole, are a carbon copy of everybody else, and fail to get engagement on or offline. So I create messages that help build relationships and close deals. Uh, I do that through bots, my friends. Our uh, bots are uh, a many splendored thing. Uh, if you are a fan of the show, you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about those little, those little messenger bots and now expanding into other areas. Uh, today, I would love to talk a little bit about artificial intelligence and how that can help help enhance your bot experience. So up until now, what we've been relying on, um, so <clears throat> backing up, let's just back up for a second. Let's explain a little bit more. Sometimes I like to dive right in and I forget that, you know, folks might be left behind. Bots consist of series of strings of messages. These strings of messages are things that you write yourself, that I write for my clients, that set a certain tone or that will request something or that will in interact with your client in their client journey somehow. Sometimes they're calling you to a webinar. Sometimes they're asking you to buy something. Sometimes they are giving you uh, the day's exercises and a challenge. Sometimes it's daily motivation. Bots do a lot, but the problem is that there are many, many times, many, many, many times that people will be in the bot and do something unexpected. You know, um, that happens a lot, actually. Uh, and uh, people will ask a question that's outside of the boundary of what the bot can answer. People will type a certain phrase um, people will, th there's all kinds of things because people don't know necessarily know what to expect from a bot. People don't know even necessarily what they're dealing with. Sometimes when, when there's a bot, I have been doing a challenge for a client of mine. It's an international challenge and we have, we have translated, well, we, I say we like I worked at this. No, she has found translators for uh, both Arabic and Spanish. Uh, and so we are really putting out three separate bots. Um, they are, uh, it has been a trip. Let me tell you that it has been a really wonderful time. A lot of finding out about different cultures and stuff. Yesterday, we found out that people are, they're, they're clicking on the welcome link every day and confused because they get the welcome string of messages every day. Um, I've had people type into the bot, hey, I can't find day one, uh, all these types of things. When people get stuck or lost in that string of messages, what do you do? What do you do? Up until now, what we've done is, well, we type into the system some keywords that we think will be likely if somebody has trouble. If you type the word help into my bot, you will get something coming back to you saying, hey, I've summoned RJ and she'll be with you as soon as I can. Meanwhile, I'll write your question right here. Um, and in the background, it summons me and then uh, I show up in the live chat and chat with you, hopefully, uh, if, I've, if I've got five minutes, uh, that is. Uh, so that's the way we've been handling it is, okay, have a general, ask a question, have some key words. Uh, if you're doing a challenge, do a day one, a day two, do all those keywords. And that has been okay, but it nowhere near encompasses what we need to be able to answer 95%. Uh, that's my goal. Answer 95% of what comes in. Sometimes people are just coming into a bot and, you know, just being ridiculous or whatever. And like trying to advertise to you. We don't really care about getting to those folks, but what if your machine could A, handle 95% of what comes in uh, and B, 
be able to make that conversational. Sometimes the problems that we have with we set up a keyword that's supposed to give a response, you know, a, a response that we've pre-written, sometimes that's fine, but sometimes it's completely off-putting because uh, people will introduce statements that are the opposite of the keyword that we put in. Hey, Roz! Managed to wake up without an alarm. Hello. I'm so happy you're here. It's just wonderful to see you. We're talking about AI today and it's crazy. Um, okay. So I'm back to it. The, the responses that we've got are okay, except in cases where people will say, I don't want you to do this anymore. And whatever this is, that happens to be a keyword that we've set up. I don't want you to set calendar appointments anymore. And if I've got set calendar appointment as a keyword that will deliver something that will help you set a calendar appointment, if somebody has just said that they don't want that, then if they get a response like, okay, here, we'll help you do that, it's really off-putting. Um, and it really takes you out of the whole thing that you know, the, the, the coolness of, Hey, I'm talking to a bot here. And, uh, and you know, it takes, it takes them out of an immersive experience. It breaks that chain of the, it's the difference between people kind of enjoying themselves and, and playing along and, Oh my God, I'm talking to a machine. That's a big line to cross. And people like me, we don't ever want to cross that line. We want to make bots that are conversational, bots that are entertaining, bots that give value. Um, right now, I can I can have I can have say I can set up a keyword for something. Um, say I have uh, say I have let's just do let's just do the uh, the set an appointment thing that we were talking about just a second ago. Um, what if there are different circumstances for the different appointments. When I'm working with a many chat chatbot, I can only serve you one response to that. I can only say, okay, uh, I, if you type in, I want to set an appointment as, you know, just because you want to set an appointment, which I always hope people do, right? Um, that's one of the goals. Then it'll take them along a certain track that will set a certain type of appointment. But what if you have certain types of appointments that anybody can just have and certain types of appointments that you need to qualify people for? If I'm setting up a keyword in ManyChat, I can't choose those circumstances. I can only serve the one reply to that keyword. So artificial intelligence, that's where this comes in. Artificial intelligence can help people hone down what it is that they want and serve them just the thing of value that they want. Instead of trying, instead of me, your bot builder trying to guess, what will people say when they want something? Or even worse, just putting the bot out there and then trying to figure out the pattern of what people are asking for from, you know, what they're asking. You know, sometimes people do that too. That's fine. Um, but what if you had an artificial brain working for you? <laughs> what if Watson was out there working for you? So, uh, so this is what you can do in uh, a bot that has AI in it. These new true chat bots that I'm going to the bots that have AI will help people will help figure out what the question means. They call it intense. What's the intent behind the question? Um, and what happens there is <clears throat> how we construct these. And I will go through step by step on this. That's, you know, that's a class. That's a thing. Um, but I'll describe to you just kind of shortly this, you know, how this happens is say you want, uh, say you want set an appointment. Let's just go keep going with that analogy. What you can do, how to set that up in TrueChat is they will just ask you, what are five likely ways that people will ask for this particular appointment type? Um, so say it's my, it's my hour client meeting. Uh, meetings with my clients usually last an hour, unless they're with Ian 
Prather. And then they last three. If he's watching, he'll know what I'm saying. Anyway, uh, clients, client meetings usually last an hour, but you kind of have to be a client. When you have AI in there, I can specify both the questions that clients will ask for because they'll know the name of the appointment that they're asking for. It's not the half hour, let's talk about bots. It's not that chat. It's a, it's a black belt customer, right? So I have both questions that would, that will, I, I can think of, you know, about five ways that they might ask for this type of appointment. I put it into the system. The system goes, and uh, it, it puts that artificial intelligence behind that. And it comes up with a whole bunch of ways people might ask that type of question. You get to look through, accept, reject. And so now you've got all of these different types of things that could identify this person wants this thing right now. They don't want this type of appointment. They want to have this type of appointment. Sweden's back on track now. Now it's a party. Hello. Uh, good to see you, Lisa. Um, so that's that's sort of a little bit of an example of what what the AI can do. It, it makes it a more powerful experience because I don't have to guess what people want anymore. What the machine will also do is this. If somebody types into my uh, artificially intelligent chat, Hey, I want pumpernickel bread. I don't get people asking me about bread. Um, I, you know, that is a complete outlier question that I would have no program to answer for. Sometimes people ask nuts stuff. Okay. I'm not in charge out there. I'm only in charge of this. So if somebody pipes, they want pumpernickel bread into my AI empowered chat, what it will do is come back with a stock answer of, Hey, that one's outside of my knowledge. I'm going to go get RJ uh, or I'm going to go get a team member. Um, and what it will do is it will put that question in a little section for you to look at later. Like, hey, we couldn't answer this question. Want you to know that just in case you start getting a lot of these, maybe you're going to want to make up an extra intent for all the pumpernickel bread people. Uh, RJ, get up. <laughs> Well, I'm up now. Um, <laughs> the, the, oh, you meant the RJ get up for the uh, for our Uh That's fantastic. So that's that's kind of conceptually what it'll do. Uh, I've got an example for you guys to look at that will uh, maybe help clarify a little bit of this. So I don't usually do this. I usually just talk the whole time. Uh, and uh, I know it's very entertaining, but I, what I would love to do is show you an example uh, that has been done by True Chat uh, for one of their clients. My example, of course, is in progress uh, on my website, but I wanted to show you something that will help you uh, figure out what's going on here uh, and, and help you maybe start to think about how you can use it. Uh, cape and goggles. Oh, the get up. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know what? It's my personality and it's beautiful. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to live it. I'm going to live my personality truth. Anyway, after I show you this little example, then we're going to talk about how, how you can use this differently, how you can maybe take some of this artificial intelligence stuff and feed your frequently asked questions into it so that no matter how people ask that question, they're going to get the correct answer. And they're going to feel like you were Johnny on the spot with the right information, which is absolutely what we want to create in your bot all the time. So here we go. Going to share my screen. It's going to be fabulous. Uh, they do have kind of a, a sliding banner here. So I uh, <clears throat> apologize for that. But uh, here you are with my screen. This is uh, Cleaners. Um, this is uh, o Ozo2 USA. They're Cleaners. They have a little chat in the bottom right-hand corner here. And as I pop that up, there's a little there's a little start chat button. I'm not putting that on mine, but some of these have them. Um, and any second now, 
so that's actually the picture that was just up there. Hello, I'm Claire, the eco clean uh, eco dry cleaning chat bot. I'll be here 24 hours a day. Uh, this one goes a little fast, you guys. 24 hours a day to help you with all your cleaning needs. What can I help you with today? So they have all of these different things uh, that people frequently do through their website. Uh, and these things kind of connect with uh, some kind of stock answers and some, you know, some of the back end stuff as well, like schedule a pickup. Uh, but what we're going to do is uh, ask a question. Type in your question below. You can actually type in menu or quit. Um, I want to know how much a pair of pants costs to clean. So I'm going to type in something. Here's something that I know because I've built a whole lot of bots. People don't always do it, it ask a question with a question mark, and people don't always write a, even a complete sentence. Sometimes you just get some words right there. Six ninety five. Uh, and then there's a whole bunch of other information there. Again, this wasn't written by me. So, you know, it came a little fast. Um, this is, but I mean, it's Johnny on the spot with the answer. So that was pants cleaning costs. Let's take another phrase. I've got several written down here. Price to clean slacks. Oops. Boop. $6.95. Okay. Well, let's try another one. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Price to clean pants. Boop. Again, $6.95. So this is, uh, this is something that, that I think is going to make a big difference for people like us. Because right here, this is a very, very simple example. I didn't want to go any, to, into anything too huge. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove that from the screen and come back. That was real simple, right? I mean, it was just, it was just the price to clean your pants. Uh, but here are also questions that would have worked. How much is it going to be to clean my pants? Um, I've got a pair of plant pants to clean. How much is it going to be? Uh, how much is it going to cost to, you know, that kind of stuff? The answer to all those questions is six ninety five. But people like you and me are busy. We don't have time to think of every single permutation that somebody might use to ask about their pants. Um, we got jobs, all right. We got clients. Uh, so, uh, so what the what the artificial intelligence does is it. It determines the intent of the question and it puts back people into a message thread that answers that question and is appropriate for that question. So how how do how do non you know how do non-cleaning companies use this? That might that question might be on your mind. I'm guessing. Um, how would I use this in my website? Well, putting in like I said earlier, frequently asked questions, putting in those things that people just ask you all the time over and over, and they ask it a thousand different ways. Obviously, with these folks, uh, you know, uh, things like scheduling pickups and things like that, those are their very frequently asked stuff. That's fantastic. Um, with me, I get more questions like, hey, what's a bot? Um, I get, I get, how do I use a bot for my business? I get people asking about free strategies. I get, I get things all the time from so many people. Uh, and it's a, it's a wonderful thing. Um, but what I would do is take questions people are frequently asking me and put them right in there. That is the first thing that I would do with this. I would get, I would train this bot brain because it's a brain now. When you add that AI in there, when you add some of the other features, like it'll, you know, get into the database and get information out of there and all of that. When you add these things, this is no longer a parroting system where, okay, if the person hits this button, then that. It'll do all that stuff, obviously. Um, but it will also 
try to think about where that customer is maybe going astray and it will give them help to get back on track. That is, this is the, this is the next step, everybody. This is the next step. This is not a step that you need to take today. Um, but I want to talk to you about exactly, you know, what this AI stuff is, because, you know, you say artificial intelligence and people say, Watson, um, this isn't Watson. Uh, you know, uh, Watson is IBM. This we're using Microsoft with this AI here. Uh, so it's not exactly Watson, but what it is, is a way that you can give people that Disneyland experience, but one step above where now it's not just you that needs to anticipate where people might fall off track or maybe where people have questions and all of that kind of stuff. It's, it's not just you that has to do this. You can now put that into a computer that will help you think about it and back you up. I think it's amazing. So first step I would start with, uh, and I will be starting with is doing my frequently asked questions. The next thing that I'm going to do is every time people get hung up, I'm going to think about and it's, it, what was the real intent of that question and I'm going to program that in. So as I'm programming my bots, I'm thinking about, okay, now, now on this step of the journey, where is a second secondary place they might wanna go? What questions might they have at this step in the journey? Ross is Watson, can't remember ever using a Watson. Oh, Watson was this thing several years ago. It was like the, it was like introducing the world to AI. Watson played like the best Jeopardy player ever and won. Um, it was a thing. Anyway, if you don't understand the Watson reference, you're not missing out on anything. You're fine. Um, but but this uh, this will help you this will help you step stuff up because it's not just your brain trying to come up with every single little thing. Now your bot can also think ahead. It's helpful for people. It's super helpful for people who have just landed on your website and they have some questions. Um, with the bot that I showed you, it was a little bot in the in the you know the lower. We'll, we'll put the right corner, the lower right hand corner, which is where we're all used to looking for a little bubble. That's fine, but you can also just put a bot on a full page. Uh, and putting a bot on a full page, uh, saying, you know, uh, pointing people there, people can hold on, sneeze. <coughs> Woo! People can. And people are, um, they are putting ad money toward a certain ad. People are clicking to these full page bots that are able to not just deliver them a freebie and collect the email, right? Because that's what we all do with landing pages. And then, I don't know, an hour later, you'll get to that email and you'll read that somebody's welcoming you and that's, you know, nice. And they've got the PDF there and okay, I'll read that later too. What a bot will do is say, hey, were you looking for that PDF? I got it right here for you. Deliver it right there. And then say, hey, uh, if you want to give me your email address, I'd like to send something on, you know, through that as well. And then they can say yes or no. And then you say, hey, uh, uh, you know, a lot of first time people at this site uh, really like this video. Would you like to see that further engaging them in your material and a conversation? The conversation doesn't end at hit send. The conversation begins when they click the ad. That's a big difference. Uh, Ross says, these bots are able to lurk on more than just your websites. Oh yes, my darling. Anywhere you can embed a piece of code. So if you have landing pages, if you have pages on your website, anywhere you can put a small piece of code, your bot can be now. And it will all track back to the same place. Um, if my bot, if the same bot is in six places, it's gathering all those six pieces of information at once. It's treating them all the same. It's, you, I mean, it's storing it in all the same place. 
So now not your bot doesn't just go to messenger and, you know, be a good boy or a girl or, you know, uh, or not reported or anything in between. It is, it's just going out many, many times into the universe and, uh, and, and collecting that information and having engaging people and having conversations. This, that, that's why this is so, so amazing to me. You know, uh, that's why it just makes me feel so good about what I'm, what I get to offer people now, because, you know, there have been times that I've been in front of clients and it's like, they'll say, you know, I asked a question, why did it do what it just did? And I'll have to say, oh, that's the limitations of the bot system we're working with. And blah, 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 blah. you know, I don't have to do that anymore. I don't have to, to rely on, and neither do you, you don't have to rely on messenger. Messenger can change their rules every single day and you wouldn't care. Um, do they work on a Discord server on Twitch as well? Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, with the bots that work on Twitch, and this is uh, for everybody in the audience, Twitch is uh, a live platform form, uh, where people watch live streaming. A lot of it is games, but um, people like Roz also do uh, do Facebook or else do Facebook live, do live streaming just like I'm doing now on Facebook. I could be streaming on Twitch. Um, popular with gamers, but other people are, are infiltrating, you know. Um, so fantastic. So Roz is asking, will this work on Discord or on Twitch? On Twitch, those bots have to be built a certain way um, and they have to be they have to be built and packaged and reviewed by the twitch people in a certain way so you can't you could give here's what you could do you could uh, you could get okay so there are bots on uh, on twitch that work a little bit differently and what they will do is you can set it to every 25 minutes let everybody know what my website is or every, you know, every time this word is typed into the chat, then bring up this particular piece of information. So it works just a little bit differently. It's, um, it's more like kind of a one, one response type of a deal. Um, and, and these bots are much more taking you along a path. So the, the answer to that is you can't do it in the traditional way of being able to like package it like they want because they want it in a certain way they want it in a certain code they want it in all these things that's fine um but for for these purposes for the purposes of live streaming a show and wanting people to connect with you what you can do is set up a bot to every time you press a button or every time every 10 minutes bring up your bot and it'll bring up the link to the web page that your bot sits on. So can't talk back and forth in Twitch, but can absolutely pass the bot link to everybody that's watching you. Is that understandable? Type me in the comments. Let me know if that, that answer was, uh, was helping. Uh, you, you can absolutely do it, just not in the traditional Twitch manner. Uh, live streaming for talk shows is becoming very popular. Well, darling, fantastic. Uh, Discord server, same deal. Uh, same deal. You can't run the bot in Discord because those have to be programmed a certain way and reviewed and done a certain way. These, you, 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 but you absolutely can uh, program your Discord so that it will pop this link up uh, at the appropriate time and then people can click onto, you know, your web page and start talking to your bot. Okay, fantastic. Uh, let's get back to different ways you can use AI in your bot. So as we've talked about, frequently asked questions, uh, very good stuff. Uh, we've also talked about when people are going along the journey in the bot, um, they reach places where sometimes they just have an entirely different question to ask. Right now, what the bot does, the many chat bots do is they, they collect that, they alert me in the background, 
uh, you know, if it's my clients, they alert my clients in the background and, the, and somebody comes along and, and answers that question. But the, this AI stuff handles one-off questions, one-off directions so very much better. So very much better. Um, and it's, it's more natural of a conversation because the, the people don't have to type it in exactly the way you thought of it. They can type in whatever words they're thinking. They don't even have to type a question with a proper capital and a proper question mark. They can just type in whatever they're thinking. Imagine if Google worked like that. <laughs> Whew. They haven't improved their search in a while, guys. <laughs> Woo! Um, Ross says, got it. So being able to set it to forward the instruction to your own bots. Yes, absolutely. Um, so that's what's going on with AI. Uh, this is, we're scratching the surface on this, everyone. We're scratching the surface on this in bots. We're scratching these, the surface on a more immersive experience where people are getting a sense of who you are and what you do. They're getting a sense of your brand, your company. They're getting a, they're, if you're a coach, they're falling in love with you. Uh, or of course they're not. And, and those folks, those aren't folks you want to keep trying with. Honestly, if your personality rubs them wrong, I think that unsubscribe love to see that. Uh, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to deal with folks that don't like me. Uh, that's, uh, and neither do you, uh, always, you know, we go after that sale sometimes and sometimes we feel the pain of that. But, uh, anyway, people are getting in that bot. They are having a great experience because they can just be themselves and ask what they want to ask at any time. They don't have to wait to be prompted. They are experiencing awesome and consistent customer service because you are just serving up that information. You don't have to think of a way to answer this question. You don't have to think of a way to tell them you can just, you can just get that going in there. Um, so, uh, that is, that's what I have to say about that, about AI. Um, really looking forward to next week. I'm going to take you into a couple more features that these new bots have that, uh, ManyChat does not, uh, and going to get you thinking along the lines of really expanding what you, what you think you can do in a bot. I'll tell you what the AI stuff, the addition of this has made me think about is I'm thinking about courses, offering courses uh, right inside my bot so that someone can say, I just need to know how to blank. I just need to know how to uh, set up a custom field. Then I can have a video that, you know, uh, that answers that question. And then the bot can, the bot can learn how people are asking this question and guess far better than I can and more completely than I can, how people are going to ask that question. So much better catching the one-off stuff. The, the many chat bots take, have a really, sorry, they, they, they walk people through a journey really well. They walk people through a preset journey really well. But this is going to take their questions too. It's going to do it a lot more completely and a lot faster and a lot less effort from you. Don't we love this? We love this. I love this. Anyway, thank you for stopping by today. Love talking to everybody. Love all of this. Uh, check out True Chat. Uh, I'm going to throw that banner up so that you can see how to how to check that out. If you sign up for a free account, uh, <clears throat> give me let me know. Uh, shoot me your name. <coughs> they like to know who I'm referring to them. And uh, <coughs> hmm, fantastic. No, I'm joking. They like to know who I'm referring to them, and I I like to let them know that I'm bringing them people, uh, great people, uh, a great system. And I just can't say enough about it, as you'll be witnessing through these other shows. If you have any questions about the, the new system, uh, anything that ManyChat happens to be doing or Messenger happens to be doing, uh, you know, come, come join my group, Black Belt Bots Community. 
free group group to join. Just ping yourself right in there, and uh, and we will we'll get that question answered as soon as we can. Uh, thanks for attending today. As always, if you wish for a free bot strategy, five 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 eight eight eight. Text bot to five 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 eight eight eight, and that will immediately flip you back a link to my bot. You can get in there and get a free bot strategy that will serve you according to the amount of time that you have available and the amount of tech tolerance that you have. Uh, and those strategies are hard one experience. I've worked really hard to build those, uh, to, to, <clears throat> to build that stuff and, and I hope you enjoy it. So text that if you want it. And <clears throat> thank you for listening today. I'll be back on Tuesday, everybody. Uh, and until then, oh, uh, I don't have an affiliate link, Roz. Uh, they don't have those yet. Uh, so just uh, shoot me a message that you've done it, and that is uh, that will be sufficient. Uh, so until Tuesday at about 1 o'clock, unless I pop on for a little tiny discussion in the meantime, I'll see you in a bot, everybody. <laughs>